Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy. Third video of the day. It's boundless season. I know you guys might be stressing out what is the best version of pendulums. I got you. I got you. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Three videos and a whole seven hour stream today. We grinding, but it's for the whole family, bro. We got to show the world that pendulums are the best deck. I'm going to go to PPG Columbus. I'm going to obliterate everyone and take home that trophy and give it a few kisses Mwah, to my trophy. We're going to do test hands of two different. Uh, combos with the deck. Obviously, this has a good hand. So we're just going to fast forward this. I'm going to talk while we fast forward. But you don't need Penko, Dark Worm, Servant to do the combo. It's more so showing you guys how to do two different combos with Pendulum, Magician, and Demion. Uh, Guard Dragon. Uh, it's similar to the Deep Cure and Demion without Magician, Guard Dragon combo I showed you guys. And deck list I showed you guys previously today. This is similar to the video I posted yesterday, but with an updated list. I've been testing non-stop. Literally, if you guys saw on stream, non-stop to figure out what is the best any of these are just absolutely amazing, but something that you guys definitely got to look at in terms of deck building, what you guys personally prefer, whether you prefer the Magicians or not. Now, oh, I meant to put a Demon in there. The card we drew of Electrum was literally a dead card. We drew Dragon Ravine. In this combo, you search Dragon Ravine with Romulus, as I touched on on two videos ago. Uh, and then you use Ravine to pitch and send Tempest. Tempest Dragon moving forward will be a staple in uh, extending Pendulum combos. It is very good to have. Uh, you could do on some crazy stuff as I'm about to show you guys over here. So what I'm going to do here is pen two level seven. It's very simple. You're going to summon, in fact, I didn't even summon the Harmonizing Magician. That's how easy it is to summon out two seven. I didn't even need to summon that. Uh, so then after that, we're going to go into Appaloosa, okay? This combo, I'm personally not playing, but it's something I'm just showing you guys. If you, what I do is I, I'm debating siding out. Uh, going second, you play Yazi, Link, Karibo, Mare, Mare, And then uh, going first, you side them out for... Because uh, you don't need Mamre going first. You also need Karibo going first. You only need them going second. But you side them out for Appaloosa and something else. I'm going to show you guys at the end of this combo. But it's going to end on 6-7 negates. Well, Appaloosa. If Appaloosa negates count, like 8 negates. But uh, then you're going to go into LP here. LP to Strudo. Uh, kind of using LP in a different way. Appaloosa's tokens do go downwards. So you're just going to use it to go into Romulus here. To search the Dragon Arena, which you already had. So even though we had a good hard, uh, hand to begin with, the cards we drew were ass. Like, Ravine literally does nothing whatsoever. So we're just going to have the Ravine there. Uh, the card, if you didn't hard search the Ravine, you'd have an extra card in hand as well. So you'd have two, three cards at this point in your hand. Then you'll use that to pitch the Tempest, to send Tempest. And then what you're going to do is special summon the Tempest. And you're looking like, oh, how are you going to put up another negate, bro? Well, you use the Distrudo targeting the Jackal. And now the Distrudo becomes level 1. And then the level 1 and the Tempest turn into Boral Savage. So a lot of you guys are complaining in my other video, where's the Boral Savage? Well, now, instead of Steel, you end on a better Appaloosa for 3 Negates. And you have Appaloosa for 3 Negates, Boral Savage, Vortex, Jackal, and you're going to have Big Endymion. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Negates. And they're real Negates, bro. They're real Negates. Like, what's your opponent doing to that? They're literally scooping. Now I'm going to show you guys a different combo. This is without us utilizing the Appaloosa and the Boral Savage. But like I said, I would side out Link Karibo and the Yazi for these two if you have space in the a side deck. Because this format, the sidings, I believe, is very easy. I'll show you guys my side deck at the end of the video. Now, this one, we drew not, uh, we just still drew good. Uh, we're not even going to use Desires, I think, but we're going to see it there. And we hard drew Tempest. A lot of you guys complain Tempest might be a brick, but I'm going to show you guys this hand that it's actually not a brick. Obviously, you're going to like to disc. You want more stuff to first off send a Foolish or Shrine or Dragon Intervene. Or more stuff to discard off Ravine or Pen Call. So Tempest discard is a great discard. And drawing it is not dead. So as you see here, we have two wins. Tempest and Old Dragon. In a worst case scenario, let's say Servant gets ashed here. Let's see Desires draw zero eye scale. You could send Tempest and Old Dragon to the grave utilizing Tempest Dragon's effect in hand. to add, Or an extra Servant because you play six Servants because of Mastery. Or six Pen Calls. So sometimes you're going to have a... Let's say you can't get the high scale. Or sometimes let's see, you can't get the Dark Worm and you need a Dark Worm. You could, uh, you could send Tempest and an Oath or Tempest and a second Servant to add a Dark Worm and then Pen Call Dark Worm. So sometimes Temp drawing Tempest is not dead because you could add a Dark Worm to Pen Call Dark Worm with it a lot of the times with Tempest as a secondary effect. And worst case scenario, discard it or Pendulum Summon it. So even with drawing it, it doesn't matter at all. So now we got the Servant. I'm going to fast forward this. Everyone knows how to do the Pendulum guard drag pendulum combo up until Pendulum Summoning. So what we do, again, as you notice, I sent an Endymion. I always send the extra that you're missing between... The order is this. First, you always send... Uh, <clears throat> make sure there's a Guard Dragon somewhere. If you could send Dark Worm or Pen Call to get Dragon Call, make sure there's a Dragon. After sending the Jackal, the priority is sending Endymion. So that's the order. Guard Dragon, Jackal, and then Endymion in order of importance. And now we're going to... 
We have seven there. We're going to now pen summit. I was thinking a little bit. Uh, okay, my bet. We, we, yeah, so here we go. We summon uh, the Tempest. We got LP. That. Now we're going to go. Uh, we hard draw the Tempest. But I'm going to show you guys how to do it if you don't hard draw the Tempest. This is how you do the combo normally without Appaloosa. You go before any, even if this is any level. So I'm pretending this isn't even, a, this could be any level. This could gate zero. This could be purple poison. It really doesn't matter. You have the Tempest here. So at this point, you would banish the LP, banish the triple burst, special the, the, the Tempest, and go into. Uh, well, you have Rhyme, so you're going to add Ravine now, and then you would pit, use Ravine. I would not even use Desires in case you banish Persona Dragon, which would be another negate that you're going to get for your opponent's turn. But if you want, and you're under Into the Voice, so you don't really need the cards. But uh, what I'm going to do here is just use Gate Zero and the Strudo for Absolute. But you, because you have the Tempest, the, if you don't, if you didn't hard draw the Tempest, or if the Gate Zero was any random level, you would use Ravine to pitch Desires. Or use Desire, whatever you want, doesn't matter, to get the Tempest, and then use Tempest Effect, Banish LP Triple Burst, to get the Destrudo and the Tempest Dragon. And then you're gonna go with those, you're gonna go into Seal, you're gonna summon out Vortex, and now the next line of play, you're gonna go into the Dragster, and now the next line of play, you're gonna go into the Tempest Dragon, just have another free pop off the Endymion. You're gonna summon the get counters on Jackal before you go, just in case they have whatever Nibiru Veil or some shit. I don't know. They would use it by now, anyways. And then uh, Endymion, Pop, Ravine, or Tempest, because Tempest will come back to your hand, anyways. And just like that. And then uh, Seal is gonna bring out a Persona Dragon. So one, two, three, four, five, six negates again. And this is like it's insane, bro. Uh, this deck's absolutely insane. So that's the two combo tutorials with the deck. Now I'm gonna show you guys the deck list. Deck list a little different than one I posted a few days ago. It's an updated list. I was testing seven to ten hours since i posted that list and so i have a much better grip on the deck you need one abductor in a conjunction with the jackal or endymion sometimes you're gonna because you play desires you might banish the endymion or the jackal and you're left with servant not being able to resolve because of the abductor you could draw a jackal banish an endymion and just like that servant can't resolve so you need a third one just in case which mine is abductor a choice is a second jackal another choice is a cerberus i'm debating playing just one cerberus to make a uh, servant that much better versus thunder versus thunder if it's gonna be a deck in base a lot but you notice there's eight draw cards eight search cards three mastery five pen call so you'll take out those eight for three super poly three lava golem and you can leave two mastery if you want or uh, for two donna or whatever it might be but you just side out the search spells and the second you side out the search spells the matchup becomes literally free because uh dealing with a colot a titan double colossus is literally the easiest shit in the planet I can't even begin to explain how easy it is. Now, you guys know to Brawl Savage and Appaloosa here. That is not the real list. The real list is with Yazi, Link Karibo, and Double Reboot. I just wanted to show you guys that if you have trouble putting up negates, feel free to put in the Savage Dragon or the Appaloosa for even easier negates, uh, as I showed you guys in the previous combo. Otherwise, I'll play this. I'll put the main deck. And regardless, Yazi, Link Karibo's main deck anyways, but you'll just side in, the instead of two reboots, Brawl Savage and... Uh, Brawl Savage and Appaloosa going first. Now we're going to continue on with the list. we got Triple Chrono, a double Curtain Razor. I definitely want to play Triple Razor. It's literally a spell, turbo card, and a Pendulum card. Better than every single Magician in the deck. Not debatable. You'll play as many as you can. Uh, in my 50-card build, which I'll show you guys two different... I have a 45, 50, and a 60-card build. If you guys want to see the 60, let me know. But 45... I'll show you guys the 50 at the end of the video, where you need to play three Razors. I do think 50 is better than 45, but a lot of you... Just because you're taking up power cards... So at 50, you get to play 6 pen call, 3 Desires. You have to play 3 Shrine, 3 Razors. You're just taking out power cards. Other cards I just said are great spell cards that you're taking out with higher of a chance to draw the cards you don't want to draw, like Magicians or Mirror Mirror, whatever it may be. But you have to play because of the engine. Uh, 2 Darker, 1 Gate 0. The deck's too tight to take out anything. Pendulum, you got to play a higher count. One of each of these is perfect. Even with uh, Agar Pink Gun, you still got to play Dragon Caller just in case. As well, because Desires, you can banish the Dark Worms, etc. One persona, uh, because as uh, just in case you're going into, you're investing so much into the seal guard dragon combo, you want another card for seal to bring out. One tempest, one Destrudo. tempest. It's worth the brick. I'm telling you, play it. It's absolutely amazing. And just an extender that's necessary moving forward for the future of pendulums. Mirror, mirror. I will never play a magician deck without mirror, mirror and the story. The fact that you could go into four cards, the search dragon ravine is damn searchable. You could get this through. You get anything you want. It's just so damn easy. And now that in your combo, you could Yazi, Boral Sword them, and then have Tempest to go out for an OTK. It makes an OTK even damn easier going second. That you could Boral Sword and then Tempest to make sure you have the extra card for the OTK. Troll Mastery, the debated taking out two, but 45, whatever. You can't cut this deck to 40. It's just too damn tight. Like, I would cut out a Mastery and an Alliance. And if you notice, you're just cutting out good cards. So why would you want to cut out good cards? The monsters are untouchable. You can't even not even take out a razor, man. You cannot do it. You're just taking out like 
you could, of course, you could take out a razor. You could still play pendulum, but you could also take out a servant and still play pendulum. But why the hell would, why the heck would you want to make your deck shittier? One ravine. I'm debating playing two ravine because when you draw it, you lose out on a free card. But I guess, well, like drawing is not dead. You just use it. It's good. One full double shrine. Uh, the beauty of this is you now have tempest, destruct, and dark web to send with the shrines and stuff. So it's good. Upstart, double desires. Don't want to see three. Fifty, you play three. Triple lord, triple into the void. Five pen call. Uh, don't play four pen call. If five, uh, you just need to see pen call if you're playing magicians. I understand Colossus is a thing, but that deck is so easy to win. You go boro lord and you win the game. It's so damn easy, especially after siding when you take out three mastery, five pen call. You auto win. Uh, side deck, three super pod, three level golem, double wrestler, double uh, denko, double reboot. Zephyr Nui, Demise Strike, Venom. Okay, uh, I play Zephyr Nui in this instead of uh, Secret Village because it's not uh, Pure Demon as we my spellcasters. Extra deck, Electra, B Cop, LP Troll Burst, Seal, Romulus, no space for Saryuja because you're playing Yazid and Karibo. Absolute Vortex Dragster, Yazid and Karibo. And Phoenix Unicorn, absolutely necessary. Boral Lord and Boral Sword are both necessary in this format because of Pure Thunder. So that's the combos, that's the deck profile. Hope you guys like the video. If you guys like what you see, Hit the subscribe button, the deck's insane, and we'll see you at tomorrow's video and stream. Don't miss out there on the stream. Peace.